Hey Heritage, the COVID season has taught us so much, including how long we can actually go on operating on outdated information. <laughs> so this is a shout out to all of our people who have been out of the mix for a while now really busy people, immune compromised people, cautious wait and see people. Listen, you're still our people. We love you so much. We're still thinking about all of you. And I just want to catch you up on what's been going on. We are still meeting in person on Sundays at the Civic Center, just as you remember in the good old days. But yes, the governor put forth some increased mitigation measures last week. They don't apply to churches. We wear face masks into worship, just like we do in the supermarkets, because we're still all working together to fight the spread of this respiratory disease. And so face masks really add a lot of peace of mind for many of us while we're all together inside a building. Uh, our worship center looks a little different lately because our seating is spaced out so that while you're seated, you're naturally distanced from other people, which allows us to take our masks off while we worship God together. The stage has not changed. It's still exploding with enthusiastic worship and teaching. Oh, here's another change. We worship with two identical services now. One starts at 9 a.m., the other starts at 10.45, and that's given us more ability to spread out. It's been really exciting to see who God has sent us over the past weeks and months. Just some really cool people. I can't wait for you to meet them. And just last week, we reintroduced our kids' ministry back into the equation for infants through age five. And as we determine that we've got the kids and the volunteers, we're going to continue adding back more age groups. Some of the highlights over the past two months for me have been baptizing five people on the outdoor stage, launching a vibrant season of groups, any of which you can still join, hiring a full-time pastor to kids and students right on our campus, and throwing a huge fall bash for hundreds of folks from the community. We just started a cool new series. It's called Level Up. And really the best is yet to come in that series or in the weeks ahead. And our Christmas plans for 2020, they're gonna blow your mind. God's been doing so much and the stories just keep coming. Just last Sunday, six different people personally gave their lives to Jesus Christ for the very first time or rededicated their lives to following him fully. Two more people have come forward asking to get baptized. More people have come to say, heritage is my home, but nothing and nobody can substitute who you are to us. I just wanted you to know that and know that I'm praying for you, that God gives you clarity on what's holding you back and, and makes you ready to try out a, a return visit when the timing is just right. I mean, I can't imagine being without a great church in these difficult days. And so I never want you to feel like you've lost yours. You belong here with us at Heritage. And we really can't wait to see you soon.